Hello everyone, my name is Emily, and yes, I am actually attempting to do an ASMR video right now. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm trying to put a bit of a different spin on it. I've been told that the vocal fries in my voice are really pleasing. So I'm trying to incorporate those. I realize I've been doing uh, an ASMR-like thing my whole life to put my dogs to sleep. Actually, to sleep, not like giving them the square needle, like actually making them fall asleep. For the record, I have only ever owned bitches, only ever owned female dogs. And when my girls would get restless, I would put them on my lap, I would stroke my bitch's ear, and I would say, Seepy girl, such a seepy girl, such a, such a sleepy girl, oh, so sleepy, such a sleepy girl, good night, night, good night, night, baby. I know that. Totally sounds creepy and date rapey, but that's just something I did. So I have some practice. Literally, as I'm recording this, Osa is lying down in the background, twitching and dreaming. This recording is so fucking soothing that I put my dog to sleep at 4.30. In the afternoon. So suck it, ASMR bros. There's a new bitch in town. Just kidding. I probably won't do this again. Anyway, today I'll be talking you through the process of making a watercolor palette prop. Why make a fake watercolor palette? Because if you're anything like me, when you walk into the arts and crafts section of any department store, you get a fat boner for all the colors. Seeing the rainbow literally makes your titties tingle. I think it's some weird artist fetish. I don't know. Anyway, my supplies are as follows. A gloss sealant, Sculpey oven bake clay, acrylic paint, acrylic paint brushes, watercolor paints, an empty palette and a hot glue gun. First, I sculpt little watercolor cakes. I want this palette to look slightly used, so I created variation in wear on each cake. They sort of resemble teeth from a really fucked up monster. Aww. As I'm baking the clay, I begin to lay out a color scheme for my palette. We'll be matching these colors in acrylic, so it's important to get them swatched and dried. After I bake the clay cakes, I arrange them in the palette in an order that looks pleasing. I know they're all white and boring right now, like 90% of my neighborhood, but putting two similar looking cakes side by side really bugged me. Now I mix my acrylic colors. Here's where the magic really starts to happen. Because acrylic is plastic and will dry hard and raised, I use that to make my watercolor cakes actually look like paint. I create a sort of S shape on each one, making sure there is plenty of paint on my brush. Once the cakes are totally dry, and I mean overnight kind of dry. Organize the way you'd like the colors to be in your palette. Once they are set up the way you like, glue each one down, making sure you aren't using too much hot glue. Did you like the way I said hot glue? I'll say it again. Hot glue. Does that shit make your brain tingle? I hope that shit makes your brain tingle. Brain tingles and color boners. We are very original on this channel. 
anyway. Now you can either use actual watercolors for this step or water down acrylic. I use actual watercolors as they are far more translucent than acrylics and make my palette look all that much more authentic. I take my matching watercolors and brush them around the cakes to create a used sort of look. I then let the water evaporate so I'm left with a very organic watercolor stain. Finally, I use my gloss sealant to dab some highlights on the raised part of the cakes. Although some of this paint was already glossy, I added more anyway to create consistency. Now you can either use a spray sealant to make sure the watercolor stains don't get disrupted, or just leave it as is. I decided to add a cute logo and some words, and then leave my palette be. I hung it on my wall, so I'm not too worried about it getting ruined. So that's it. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And now I can get my fat lady boner color fix whenever I feel like it, simply by looking up at my wall. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys liked this ASMR style video. I know when you think about me doing ASMR, um, you think of my normal voice, which is incredibly boyish and nasally, <laughs> so it didn't really seem like I would be a good fit to do ASMR. I think I sounded okay. I don't know. Again, just let me know in the comments down below, and let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Obviously, it would be a very infrequent thing because it is kind of difficult to get silence in your house when you have a newborn. And although he's not here yet, he will be here any day now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and so much for listening. And don't forget to stay out of trouble. See you guys later.